Welcome to Getting Started with PCB123. In this session, we're going to start by invoking the program for the first time. When the program starts up, the first thing that we present to you is a splash screen or list of information for the latest breaking news and information about the tool. You can read that information for the updates and then click Done to proceed through to the new board wizard. At this point, we can start setting up our next, our, our first project to use. We can start from scratch to make a brand new board by entering a board name here, or if we have a design already underway, we can browse to that saved file and reload it to start again. Let's make a new file. Click Next. Specify the width and height for the board in rectangular dimensions, or uh, you can use one of the predefined templates, or later on you can define your own templates and save them here for easy access. We'll just go right ahead and use the 3 inch by 5 inch board default. Select the number of layers for your board, two layers, four layers, or six layers. If I select one of those options, it sets up the appropriate inner layer stack up for use. In this particular demo, we'll just use the two layer board. Specify solder mask or silk screen. Thickness of the PCB material you'd like to use. The copper weight you might prefer. The defaults are specified here for you so that you can see uh, what the typical approach would be. Lead free or tin lead. And finish. Now we're ready to get started on our design. PCB123 defaults you to the layout view first, um, but there are multiple views that you can you can access. If you prefer to start with a schematic layout, you can click on the schematic tab and begin your schematic layout for your design. There is also a bill of materials page which will track the components that you've put in your into your board so far and roll those numbers up with pricing from DigiKey so that you can keep track of the components bill materials as well as the pricing for your design. And later on as we will see a three-dimensional view of your board as it's being designed so that you can get an approximation for um, its look after manufacturing. 